price of computer parts has gone way up and I did not realize that. Um, I run a computer repair business on the side. I make house calls and I diagnose computer problems and when they're, um, when they need to be fixed, I fix them and I'm just, you know, like I have a pretty basic price set of how I do things. Um, you know, a basic computer, um, well, I'll, I'll give you an example of what I'm dealing with right now. Hard drive replacement. Um, customer called, said the computer wouldn't boot, uh, kept throwing all kinds of errors and issues. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll come check it out. I went and checked it out, hard drive failure. It is completely dead. There's no, there's no anything. It's just, it's gone. Um, there's no recovery. There's no saving anything that was on the drive. Nothing. It's gone. So, um, every time I replace a hard drive, regardless of what kind of hard drive it is, um, usually most computers that I work on have anywhere between a 500 and one terabyte, 500 gig, one terabyte main disk drive. And it is a disk drive. And that has always been the standard because they're cheap. They're super cheap and you can get them and just throw them in, whatever. Um, anytime that I replace a hard drive, I try to do a comparable size SSD. And I include that in my quote. So um, usually anytime someone needs a new hard drive, I just say base price, $100. That includes Windows reinstallation and everything. So um, it's a really really competitive price. No one does it that cheap because, I mean, what do I have to lose? You know, I, I've got all the setup I need. Um, it takes me five seconds to swap the hard drive out and then uh, start loading windows into it. I'm not doing any data recovery. I'm not doing any file backups or any of that. I'm just installing windows, making it a fresh, clean install using their license key and then giving it back to them. Um, I charge $40 to do that anyway. Like if it didn't involve a hard drive, it's just $40. That's what I charge. So, um, including the cost of the hard drive, a hundred dollars. Uh, but the price of hard drives have gone out the roof. And this customer had a one terabyte Seagate, which I am not a fan of Seagate, not at all. Uh, customer had a one terabyte Seagate disk drive and it failed, completely dead. And I told her, you know, my hard drive replacement service is $100 that gets you back on, you know, fresh copy of Windows and you're back ready to go. Um, so she agreed, I took the computer, took it home, extracted the old drive just to make sure because it's kind of an all-in-one computer, it's not like a tower. So I wanted to make sure it didn't already use a two and a half inch drive, you know, because if it doesn't, I have to get an adapter to put that in. It's still better than putting a three and a half inch drive. So, um, did that and uh, I was like, yep, yeah, okay, all good. I need the adapter and I need a two and a half inch drive. Um, and I was going to put a sand disc, which is usually my go-to, uh, one terabyte. <laughs> and I went to order it and it's $90. What? <laughs> what? What happened? Um, so unfortunately I can't do that. I mean, there's just, you know, that, that doesn't even cover my windows reinstallation cost. And uh, I have to get at least that to make the job worth my while. So, um, so I had to size it down to a 512 gig and even SanDisk was still $50 in that range. And, um, I, you know, like I remember these things being like 30 bucks, 35 tops. Um, I've never had an issue getting a good SSD cheap. And now all of a sudden I can't find any. Um, so yeah, uh, ended up, I went with, uh, I've got a few brands that I'm okay with. I don't, um, I'm not going to put something in someone's computer that I wouldn't run in my own computer. And, um, and through my own trial and error, I have found brands that I just will not use whatsoever. So my go-to is SanDisk. It's not necessarily the best. I mean, if I'm going to, if I'm going to put it, you know, in a computer that's going to have a lot of high demand. I'm going to go Samsung because Samsung tends to make a pretty good solid state drive. Um, but SanDisk isn't bad. I've used it. I actually used it in my um, DVR, my video what is, uh, camera, camera system, you know, security system DVR. When it's hard disk drive went out, I put a four terabyte SanDisk SSD in it because I just had it laying around. So I was like, why not? Um, worked great. Had no issues. Um, other brands that I, I'll use on occasion, 
are um, Kingston, which is okay. They're on the cheaper side. Um, probably not the best, but, uh, you know, like I said, not had any issues with them, so no complaints. And then um, Adata, which, again, on the cheaper side, but I've never had issues with them. I've used them in the past, so I'm, I'm okay with that. So, um, of those brands, the only one that I found that was halfway reasonable in price was the Kingston. I did find a 500 gig Kingston for $30. Now, if you go shop at other comparable stores, it's like $35, $40. So, I had to order it off of Amazon to get that $30 price tag. And it's not going to be here this week. So, I don't like that. I like to get things done as quickly as possible, get them back in the customer's hands, and, you know, have a, a happy customer. So, now I have to think about, do I want to wait the week for the Kingston to get here? Or do I want to go to Best Buy right now, which is where I'm heading, <laughs> and look and see if they have maybe a SanDisk for 45 that I can throw in it and just eat the call, eat the difference. Um, it's like $15. It's not that big of a deal. So, um... So yeah, that's where we're at on that. And uh, why did everything go up? Oh, I can tell you why everything went up. But everything went up. That's what I'm. That's the point that I wanted to make today. Okay, bye.